The installation begins by placing the JB1 lid one to two inches from the upslope edge of the shingle course and tracing the outline of the lid on the first course of shingles. Using tin snips, trim the shingle to the shape of the lid outline. Use a pry bar to loosen shingles and remove nails that would interfere with the flashing. Slide into place. Using a drill bit, drill through the box and roof simultaneously within the drill zone. Verify the penetration is on either side of a rafter, but not over or through a rafter. Remove and drill the attic run hole through the decking using a paddle bit. Using a hole saw, drill an appropriately sized hole in the box for the attic run. Multiple attic run penetrations are allowed. Clean off all debris and burrs. Install fittings for the attic run. For best results, lock nut fittings are recommended. Apply roofing sealant to the underside of the flashing following the sealant indentation guide. Slide into place. Secure the JB1 to the roof decking using the provided four number eight by one and a quarter screws. Torque to 15 to 20 pounds per inch or until the enclosure is snug against the shingles. Using a hole saw, drill properly sized holes in the box sidewalls for conductor fittings. Clean off all burrs. Install up to one inch UL514B NEMA 3R fittings and or strain reliefs. Install fittings so they are vertically centered on the sidewalls. Wiring can be completed using a provided three and a half inch DIN rail, securing it to the JB1 floor with provided self-tapping screws. For maximum flexibility, the DIN rail can overhang the drill zone as long as the DIN rail screws are fastened within the drill zone. At a minimum, maintain a half inch gap between the DIN rail and the ground bar. Terminal blocks can be simply wired in place or wired outside the box and clipped onto the DIN rail, similar to installing a breaker. Wiring can also be completed using wire connectors. When connections are complete, finish by installing the lid using five 10 by 32 by one inch bolts provided. Torque to 15 to 20 pounds per inch or until the bolt head touches the lid top. For more information, visit us at easysolarproducts.com.